Okay guys, don't panic. Um, I know that I said that I would be back this week and the channel would be normal again. Um, I threw that uh, weird vlog style video on you and I said I'll be back this week and we'll do recipe reviews. Um, there's been an emergency. Hashtag keto cook-off. Have you seen it? Um, our friends over at Keto Connect, Mega and Matt, they've thrown the gauntlet down. They've issued a challenge. It's a chopped style challenge where they've given us three ingredients and they've asked us to come up with uh, a recipe. So here it is on Friday night and we're gonna do this though. All right, so let's get started. Um, the three ingredients this time for their keto cook-off, hashtag keto cook-off, um, they're gonna judge us on, uh, they can't taste it, right? So they're gonna judge us on looks, I think it was, and um, creativity, and the photo. This is an Instagram challenge, hashtag keto cook-off. Let's see, hold on, let's watch the, let's watch this, hold on. Mystery ingredients for the first challenge. Mystery ingredients. Come on, Matt, open the box. We ain't looking at your address. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. And yeah, I don't have... this particular hot sauce. Any hot sauce you got in your fridge. Okay. Because I ain't got, got that weird green stuff you got there. I don't have that. Yeah. I would say that counts. All right. I got some Louisiana hot sauce. But I also got some sriracha. Oh, chicken. 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 I happen to have chicken thighs. Who doesn't? Matt. Hush. You're talking too loud. Okay. Olives. Olives. Ugh. Me too, Mega. I need your recipe. Do you need my recipe? No. Your. You got it. She gonna eat his recipe. Um, all right, no, but I do have some, oops, backwards, some Lindsay olives. I don't like them. Can't stand them. Tenth. All right. We got this. We got this, y'all. I think I know what I'm gonna do. And um, so my ingredients are going to include, all right, the chicken, right? Um, we've got the olives. I don't know where the hat came from. Is it even in C, like, oh yeah, it's good till 2020. Lord, we got forever on that. Um, and then the hot sauce. All right, so I got some crystal. I don't know if I'm gonna use that yet or some burp, 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 rooster sauce, sriracha. Don't know which of those I'm gonna use yet. Um, and I think I know what I'm going to do. And some of that's going to include some mayonnaise. Uh-huh. Dukes. This is like a southern staple. You ain't southern if you ain't got no dukes in your refrigerator. And, um, I hate olives. Blech. Hate them. But what I'm going to do is make a tapenade, I think. Some, throw this stuff in, in the food processor. Maybe with a caper or two. Maybe it's some Lindsay Haddon House uh, capers and olives. Make a little, make a little um, tapenade. So let's just season this. All right, we're gonna poach this. I'll be back in about 25, 30 minutes. These are boneless and skinless, but they are thighs. So Headbangers Kitchen, you can't use a chicken breast, but I know you ate your chicken thighs early, so we'll give you a pass. All right, meet you back in a second. Cheers. Okay, this is done. We're gonna pull this up. All right, so we just let this cool for just a minute. We don't want it to cool all the way down, and you're gonna see what happens next. Okay, now um, we pull the chicken up. While this is still kind of warm, um, it, we're gonna do this. Watch this. Stand mixer. You can do this with a hand mixer too. Paddle attachment, not the whisk. Chicken. Works better with breasts than it does thighs, but it works with thighs too. Gotta be boneless. Kinda cover it. Voila, you have beautifully shredded chicken. If you can get it off the paddle. So from here on out, we're just making some basic chicken salad, but I'm gonna add a couple of interesting flavors. I love a curried chicken salad. And a lot of times it comes with nuts and it comes with raisins. And we're not gonna do that, um, but you'll see what we're gonna do. All right, so we've got shredded chicken. I need a little bit of salt in that, so 
um, some Himalayan sea salt, and this is all just kind of by eye. I could give you a recipe for this, but it really depends on how much chicken you have and how much flavor you want. All right, some mayonnaise, love me some Dukes. This is some low carb mayonnaise. Yes, it has seed oils, it's made with seed oils. So I'm gonna get, you know, fair amount. And we're gonna put a little bit of hot sauce. And we're gonna do some onion powder and some garlic powder. Just a little shake or two. And here's where we kind of get interesting, some curry powder, ch curry chicken salad. And uh, just sort of eyeball it here and see what you think. Whoa, it didn't have a shaker on it, so that's a lot. <laughs> okay, and some pepper. And let's see what this looks like. Let's just give it a go. Oops. I'm excited, so I've already spilling it everywhere. Throwing it all over the counter. Okay, added a little more curry powder to that. It's looking good, girls and boys. That's good. That is good. All right, so we're gonna make this tapenade now. Um, and a tapenade is a fancy word for like, I think it means just like olive slop. <laughs> I'm not an olive fan, really not. Um, I enjoy the brininess, I enjoy the saltiness. Um, my problem with olives really is a texture situation. It tastes like you're like eating belly buttons or something. I don't know, it's weird. I like the saltiness, I like the flavor. It's that weird waxy, like a cooked belly button. I don't know what else, I don't know how else to tell you. Um, so, all right, we're gonna, God bless, put this thing together. So we're gonna solve that by making a little tapenade, which is just diced up olives. I'm gonna throw some capers in it. I'm gonna throw some olive oil in it, salt and pepper, and you'll see what I mean. We're gonna take a can of sliced belly buttons, I mean olives, and, all right, let me drain it, hold on. Okay, so, all right, I've got the olives. We're gonna throw them in there. We're gonna put a few capers in, and I, should, I ought to do this like Giada De Laurentiis. She drives me crazy. She will stick her whole finger down in that jar. Just jam down in there and get them and throw them out in here. All right, let's do this. Let's just get a little handful of these. This is also for salt capers. They're good. From here, I'm gonna add a little olive oil to this for some fat. It's already got a fair amount of salt in it, but I'm gonna hit it a lick one or two times just to make sure. Give it a little salt. Give it a little bit of garlic powder. A little bit. Quiz it up. It ain't plugged in. Okay, we're back. So let's just pulse this. This is these olives and these capers. Making a top and odd. Fancy word for olive slop. Pull your blade out. That thing will cut your leg off. You better not touch it. Here we go. We've made our chicken salad, curried chicken salad. We've made our fabulous olive top and odd. We have some hot sauce ready, some sriracha. And here's where um, I have a bit of a <sighs> shamefulness to say. Have you watched my bread battle video? Do you remember when I brought out the loaf of commercial bread? And I said something about, oh, one day when you're hungry and things are late and you might need something along those lines. Do you remember that? I told you this was an emergency. This is the keto cook-off. So tonight, I'm pulling out the big guns. Now everybody gets voted off a chopped or top chef when they use a pre-made item, but tonight I've got to. So here we go. We're making canapes. Fancy word for a little bite. 
watch this. I have lost all respect, I realize, by pulling out some pre-made low carb bread from the low carb bread company. Jesus. I don't have any circle biscuit cutters with me, so guess what we're doing? Stars. Gotta love them. Jeez Louise. That does not even cut. I thought that would be easy. Guess not. Oh, look there. There's one. Bleep. My God. Ugh. That's cuckoo. Remember when I said it was tough? This bread was tough? <laughs> well, that's evidence right there. Can't even cut it with a cookie cutter. All right. Ugh. Got him, mighty. Okay. Now you're gonna make that. This is the perfect appetizers. So you're gonna do that about 27 more times. Watch this. Some butter. So we're just gonna try to get these nice and buttery on both sides and just toast them just ever so slightly. Now those are almost have a nice color on it right here. Um, now this could be, I'm doing it with bread here. You could make some fat head crackers. You could do some Parmesan crisps, you know, where you bake the Parmesan cheese or the, you can even do it with cheddar cheese in the oven and make the little crisp crackers. Um, you could do this with, uh, truthfully what I was gonna do this tonight with when I saw the um, challenge initially and was gonna do, you know, I thought about doing an appetizer. We all make these big pots, you know, keto stuff seems to be these big, big pots and big meals and lots of meat and blah, meat and huge and all this. We never see any small little bite size appetizers. So that's what I wanted kind of to do here. This would be great on a um, sliced cucumber. Just slice a cucumber really thin and then use that as the base for your um, chicken salad. So, all right, so these little guys are beautiful. Our little stars here, we're gonna take them up. Come on here, guy, get up. All right, so let's assemble our little creations here. I've got our toasted bread. I've got some garlic chives that I'm just, they're I mean, obviously gonna taste beautiful, but they're also gonna be a beautiful garnish. And all right, so we've got these little guys here. And these are gonna be perfect little party passer arounders, if you will. So just try to make these as beautiful as you can. Again, this would be great on a cucumber slice would be ideal. This is some of that weird low carb bread that I told you guys to, that <laughs> I would only use if I had to keep some in my freezer. And guess what? That's what I did. Our little curried chicken salad. This is chicken thighs. They're so juicy. Those are gonna be super tasty. That's something I keep around all the time, to be honest with you, is a chicken thigh. I know, I lick my fingers, you're not supposed to. Um, okay, so from here, the one thing we were missing in our chicken salad was something briny. Remember the pickles or the olives or something like that, but that's what our olive tapenade is for. This was just some black olives, some capers, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, um, whizzed up in the food processor. Now, you really just need the slightest amount of this stuff because this stuff is powerful. Oops, you can't see anything because of my head. Now, I'm gonna add a few little black sesame seeds. Yep, it's another seed, but they're just so pretty. Just, I mean, literally six or eight of them make such a nice impression. Well, you can't even see them on that black olive tapenade. And finally, the hot sauce. What more popular hot sauce is there than that? Rooster sauce. Just a dab will do you. So we're just gonna put a slight little drizzle. Get our tongs and let's put a few little garlic chives on. I don't think I can do it with my fingers. Actually, I'm gonna cut these again. A little too long. Not too many, garlic chives are strong. So these will just really give it a nice little color. Here we are. I need to replate this for us, but little tiny canapes to pass around at a party. 
a little low carb party. So challenge accepted, Mega and Matt. Hashtag keto cook off. Hashtag it's late on a Friday night, but I did it anyway. Cheers. I'm gonna take photos of this and then I'm gonna taste it. All right, let's try it. Little olive tapenade, little curry chicken salad, little garlic chive, little low carb toast from Low Carb Bread Company, who I poo pooed before. That's pretty good. Oh, that's good. Kind of tastes like a chicken salad sandwich. Ooh, it's hot. Spicy. Curry, olives, brine, heat, garlic, mayonnaise. Delicious. I'm ready for the next one. Try me again. Now, if you liked this video, hit the like button below, or better yet, like this video and subscribe to our channel. These videos are a way for me to maintain my focus on a low carb eating plan. I've personally experienced the weight loss and better health that a low carb lifestyle can produce, so I appreciate you guys coming along for the journey. We make videos every week, so if there's a low carb recipe out there you'd like me to try, let me know in the comments below. We'll see you again soon.